Have you felt any of these signs? If you watch this video, I'm going to explain a few of the most common and most powerful signs that you have a twin flame. And even if you've already know, if you already know this, you've probably watched sign videos and uh, this kind of thing a lot of times before. But some of these are a bit unique and I'm going to explain a bit more about how each one of them works. So as you already know, twin flames are two halves of the same soul that were split apart and incarnated into separate physical bodies. The connection is often described as a feeling of coming home. And many people who have experienced it report a really strong sense of familiarity. You've probably experienced this yourself, an, in an intense, unbreakable bond. So if you're wondering whether you might be a twin flame, there's a few signs that are very likely indicators that you actually are a twin flame. So the first one is that if you've met the person, if you've met your twin, you have an intense, unbreakable connection. Twin flame connections are known for being super intense and unbreakable, and many people who have experienced this describe it as feeling like they're coming home or they're finally finding the missing piece of themselves. This bond is usually so strong that it can feel like a force pulling you together, literally like a magnetic energy drawing you together even if you happen to be living in separate countries. You'll also feel like you have a very strong mutual physical attraction. This will be like a sexual chemical attraction that you really can't explain. Literally like a magnetism which draws you together and brings your energies into one. Usually at the same time as you feel that attraction it's accompanied with a sense of familiarity so you'll literally feel like you've known each other before even if you've only just met. Usually also this is accompanied with kind of like a, a sense of synchronicity, thing, a feeling and a sense that things are just lining up for you. It might be like you see certain numbers, you see certain patterns, and that's the interesting thing. It can literally be anything, any message. It can be literally like you're sitting watching a movie, and in the movie there's a certain signpost or a name or a person or a whatever, something that will only mean anything to you in your specific situation, but you will know that it, that sign and message is a synchronicity for you. It could be, for example, they've said, let's meet up in X country, and then you watch a movie that night, and then in the movie, they go to that country. Or it could be that you hit, you're walking down the road and you hear a song, and then in the song, they sing about that country. And this could apply to people, it could apply to names, places, ideas, concepts, but they will synchronize and line up, and only you will understand what it means. And sometimes it's really, really quite obvious and quite in your face. Like, let's say uh, if you meet your twin and their name happens to be, I don't know, Rob or John or something. It can literally be something as obvious as you walk down the street and somebody is literally wearing a t-shirt that says, time to find John or something like, something like that. I'm bad at giving examples, but it can literally be something physically obvious, like, a, like text on someone's shirt or lyrics in a song, or a physical scene in a movie. Or it could just be something really subtle, like uh, a specific feeling inside you, or a specific uh, number. You look at the time at a certain, and at the exact time when the numbers are 22, 22, or something like that. So yeah, this synchronicity is really interesting. It can actually manifest in different ways. It could be that you have the same thoughts or experiences at the same time, and then later you find out that 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 happened, you know, when you talk to them later. It could be that you both encounter the same signs or symbols or numbers at the same time. It can be really exciting, but more than anything, this synchronicity is comforting. It can be a bit scary for, I guess, some people, but the way I look at it is it's super comforting because it's basically the universe telling you directly that everything's gonna be fine. Things are happening exactly as they're supposed to, and you're on the right track. So another sign is that you have a deep understanding of each other. You know, twin flames often have a very deep understanding of each other that goes way beyond words. So you might not be able to explain it, but somehow you just understand them, you get them, and they get you. And you know, this can manifest in different ways. It could be that you both have the same feelings or thoughts without having to discuss them. It could be that you both intuitively sense what the other person needs. And again, you know, try and, try and um, find some value in this, even if they're not physically with you, if you're not reunited, the same things apply. You know, you just won't be able to confirm it until you actually reunite and talk to them. But they are probably having the same thoughts and feelings as you are, and usually at the same time. And what's interesting is that you can't really confirm this until you're actually with them. But all I can do is give you my experiences and my opinions, right? So with me and Julia, what happens is I will literally be sitting next to each other. One of us will, in our minds, think something that we're about to say. Right? Whether it's literally something as simple as let's change the channel or let's you know watch something else or it could be something like I have an idea, let's go bubbling tomorrow. And then what often happens, and this happens very often, especially in the last year, is the other person will respond to what they thought before they've even said it. <laughs> and sometimes we have to kind of do a double take and think, 
and, and just say, hold on a second, I haven't said that yet. How did you know, <laughs> why are you responding to let's go bowling tomorrow when I haven't actually physically said that? And it's, although we know how it works and we, we know that it is a thing, uh, this twin flame telepathy phenomenon, it's still really quite amazing and shocking every time it happens because it's, it's literally like a slap in the face from the universe to say, this is possible, you know, these things happen. And there's much more to reality than we think. So you might literally be already communicating telepathically with your twin flame, having the same thoughts and feelings and uh, you know emotions at the same time, but because you're not in communication and because they're not with you there physically, maybe, you can't confirm it. So you just have to kind of like trust. And when, when, when you're not able to confirm it, sometimes you feel like you're going crazy. Sometimes you feel like, oh, I just wish I knew how they were feeling. I wish I knew what they were thinking right now. Are they with someone else? You know, what are they doing? But the chances are, the chances are incredibly high that they're just literally sitting there like you are, you know, feeling the same things, thinking the same things at exactly the same time. And this goes really hand in hand with the next one, which is that you're often, with, with your twin flame, you're on the same kind of journey spiritually in terms of your purpose and, you know, what you're doing when you go through your awakenings, uh, the missions you have, the goals and desires you have. Usually, when you're, if you have a twin flame and if you know about them or if you've met them, that only happens if you're ready to come together and kind of do the same sort of purpose, you know, the same sort of mission together. So it's actually going to be easier as time goes on. Leave a comment right now affirming that you understand that your twin flame will come to you at exactly the right time. In your own words, of course, you know, don't like say literally that, but affirm in your own words that you understand this is part of the journey and it's basically fine. It's going to be fine. What you should really do right now is to click on our channel and just watch a couple more videos. I think this is the right time to really dive into this and just try and understand more about this connection.